Hello Taurus and welcome to your general reading for January 2024. If you are interested in the extended video to this reading or if you wish to explore my work, all of those links are down below. All right Taurus, um, I had a really interesting vision. I saw something that was sprouting like just a little tiny I don't know, flower, little tiny leaves out of snow. Now, I know that there are certain flowers like daffodils or crocus that emerge in the early, early spring. What I heard was something is taking root, something is blooming, but the soil needs fertilizer. So perhaps an idea kind of had a rough start this could be a blossoming relationship that will grow, but it really needs tending to. So Taurus, let's find out what this is all about. Let's um, check out the energy coming in for you in January. This is, um, this is interesting though. It looked really barren, that, that snow bank. It looked unfair, like that, that struggling little <laughs> blossom was gonna have a tough road. Or maybe because it's so tough and resilient, it's blooming from, from nothing. Could be looked at that way as well. Okay, Taurus. The healing light, beautiful energy. All right, let's see where we go with this, Taurus. What do you need to know for January 2024? Remember, please, this can be your energy. I could be picking up the energy of someone in your space. So let's see what needs to come through for you, Taurus. Okay. Oh, wow. Looks like you are going to be traveling or someone will be traveling in January. I'm looking at these flowers. It almost looks like, um, you know, springtime. All right, let's see what we have here. Walking away. Hostilities. Discovery. Wow. Hmm. Interesting. Card 26 and 27 here. You might have either experienced, um, you know, a breakup or a relationship that felt as though you, you were fighting against something you couldn't fix or you're fighting for something and leaving something else behind. I just saw 222. Maybe you have learned something that created, you know, a challenging environment. Somebody might have walked away from you vice versa. I don't know. Is this coming back together? I did hear, you know, the soil needs fertilizing. Whatever this is that's blooming, it needs tending to. And I can see that if there's been something challenging, it's time to make repairs. Okay. So Taurus, what will be presenting itself for you in the month of January? The world. Hmm could be picking up a distance energy for some of you. Wow. Death. Something's over. Walking away from something that is done. Or maybe something was perceived to be over and it's coming back to life. I don't know. Let's keep going. So Taurus, what can you expect in the month of January? I just saw 333. Anything else, Spirit? The cards are not wanting to talk. Okay, there we go. Bottom of the deck, Four of Swords, Silence. It just, it shouted out to me, Silence. Okay, well, let's see what we've got here. Hmm. 
Yep, you're waiting for something to blossom, that's for sure. You're putting effort into something and it could be that you're revisiting a connection. I, I'm almost feeling like um, there, there's a confident energy coming through with this combination, Magician, Nine of Wands, like I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make this happen. I'm going to make this take root. It's interesting because I'm, I'm seeing the, the, the wands with the little tiny leaves on the top. It's like, you know, if this is barren land, you're determined to make something work. And, and look at how beautiful these leaves look. I think you're tending to something, Taurus. Not to keep this completely visual or metaphorical, but I do feel like something is going to take root. Something is being revisited. I feel like communication with someone, maybe someone from your past, is in the cards for January. Let's get a few clarifiers. What are you determined to do, Taurus? What are you determined to do? Let me get through the stack one more time. Okay, we have the Six of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles. If this is some something you're doing related to your work, your stability, um, a relationship with someone you admire, I, I am getting a sense of admiration with this Nine of Pentacles. It could be that you want to revive a relationship, you want to revisit something. Let's get one more. What are you determined to do? Seven of Swords in reverse. Knight of Swords. That's been showing up for a lot of the signs, both on YouTube and personal readings. It's like, I don't know if there is a fire in someone's um, belly, be in your bonnet. You're wanting to like do something, to go. I, I do kind of get you're, you're fighting for something or you're fighting against whatever is holding you back. Seven of Pentacles. What you've invested in. Taking stock of what? Of what? Oh, wow. Well, if this is the tough environment, I think something needs to be cultivated something needs to be repaired ten of wands wow magician you're making something happen what is that about magician hanged man knight of swords magician again you're seeing something or someone differently it could be that what you're doing requires fast action have you been, you know, held up in some regard? Look at that. All these cards are just repeating. Eight of Wands. Is this communication? Is this world travel? Going on a trip? Eight of Wands, please. Eight of Wands. What is that about? Ace of Cups. Seven of Cups. Eight of Wands. Wow, the cards are speaking. They are speaking. It could be that you want to bring a connection back together. You're not quite sure how it'll turn out. Wow, look at this. My gosh, you guys. Who are you moving toward? What is this about the past? A choice. Six of Cups lovers. The Devil. The Ace of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles, with the Three of Swords at the bottom of the deck, Ten of Wands, Five of Pentacles, Judgment, Four of Cups. You're moving on from something. You either, or this is past, and you let someone go, someone let you go. I feel like you miss this person, or they miss you. Ten of Wands, Three of Swords. I, I feel like there is the desire to, you know, reignite this to cultivate something but we'll see if the ace of wands shows up but what is it that is either drawing you toward this person or weighing on you that you need to alleviate what is that 
we saw the hermit at the bottom of the deck, which is a lot of introspection, maybe feeling, you know, alone or isolated from someone. Page of Wands, that's my traveler energy. He's holding that Ace of Wands. Look at that. You know, um, with the Fool energy, Hermit Lovers, High Priestess, wow. I feel like you are going to take a leap of faith in another direction or um, to be with someone. It could be a choice in love. You might be keeping this to yourself. You might be looking for guidance in a relationship and... I, I say that because we have a little bit of confusion showing up here. You might even have a choice uh, in lovers. I could do this. I could do that. Let's take a look at the energy that Spirit is showing you about your first choice. What is Spirit showing you about your or choice number one, I won't say your first, like a priority. Choice number one, what does spirit want you to know about that choice? Look at what you've invested. Look at its potential. Look at the return. Tell yourself the truth of this. We have the Hierophant, the Queen of Pentacles. This could be related to a marriage, someone you see as marriage material. One card for the second person. Ooh, two. Queen of Cups, Ace of Cups. Oh boy, I just saw 1111. I think I know where this is headed. What is your heart telling you? Is this new love? Is this an opportunity to grow something? Something you feel, um, you know, requires nurturing. Someone who is nurturing. Oh my gosh, okay. Yeah, Spirit is showing me that these, these little lotus flowers are really tiny. What does a lotus grow from? Mud, muck. Okay, so let's get some advice from Spirit for you, Taurus, and then we'll take this to the extended. Advice for Taurus. You've been pouring yourself into everything and everyone else. What about you? The circumstance you find yourself in is not worthy of the time spent worrying about it. Release it. Oh, wow. If you're wondering if this will happen, the answer is no. So I, I'm feeling like whatever you've cultivated, now that doesn't even have to be a relationship, but if it is a choice in uh, partners, lovers, um, if it is, you know, even if it's staying single, maybe you're not going to be single for long. If you're thinking, you know, that approaching someone is going to result in learning something, learn in, uh, result in learning about uh, something that you're not comfortable with, uh, a fight, something hostile, uh, you know, maybe you're thinking the worst. You have to determine what that is for you. Bottom of the deck, perspective can help you understand this situation Try to look through a new lens to see their point of view. Very hanged man energy. We also have discovery here. A destined event is coming. If you feel the energy, you're right. Be brave. You can do this. If you're wondering if this will happen, the answer is yes. So, wow, big choice for Taurus in January. Taurus, I'm going to take this to the extended and we will take a look at your options and we'll help you weigh them. The link is below if you want to join me there. If not, thanks for being here. Um, I, there, yeah, there's a big decision. So I will leave it there and see you on the other side.